All right, check this out. So we went to, to the store and picked up some sirloin steak. These are about one inch thick. So we're gonna cook that up today. We're making sirloin steak with mushroom, and we're gonna have some rice. And to add the flavor, we're gonna be making some cilantro lime sauce. Before we start anything, uh, you want to bring out the steak. Bring it out, let it sit for a good 30 minutes or so. Bring it to closer to room temperature. Uh, but uh, go ahead and just kind of sprinkle this Montreal seasoning onto it. Kind of rub it like that. You don't need to put a, a bunch, like a, you can just do a little bit because the flavor is going to come from the other things that you're going to use. So just kind of dab some soy sauce, rub it onto the steak like that, and put it aside. As far as the mushrooms, you want to just kind of cut it to the same size, as close as you can so when it's cooking, it'll be an even cook when you saute it. Uh, when you're chopping up the onion, the, the garlic I mean, there's four pieces of, of garlic here. So I'm going to use half for the sauce, then half is going to be using for that. Uh, the cilantro, probably about three, four stems. Or you can put more if you like cilantro. For me, I like my pepper, so I got two pieces of Thai pepper here. Honestly, you don't really need to put the pepper if you don't like it too spicy or if you don't like it spicy at all. One piece of lime and then a tablespoon of uh, fish sauce. This is the brand that I'm using, also from the Vietnamese market. And now we're just going to put all the um, ingredients together into the sauce. Squeeze the lime. And then you want to taste it because I know some people like it more sour, some people like it more saltier. So it's just up to you how you want your sauce. But what I'm saying would be kind of the right amount for the way I eat my um, steaks. For the mushroom, put in a bowl. You, uh, the brand, the brand of oyster sauce that we're using here is uh, Lee Kang Kee. You can use other oyster sauce, but just put a tablespoon and just mix it around, and then just kind of sprinkle a little bit of black pepper to it, not too much, and put that aside because we're gonna saute this at the end once the uh, beef is done. Okay, today we're going to use our indoor grill um, because I'm too lazy to clean up the grill outside. But anyways, it should work the same. The thing about an indoor grill, you got to have good ventilation um, or else it's going to trigger the alarm and it can get pretty smoky for this particular grill. I know they got some other grill that's uh, probably better and less smoke. So it's on high heat right now, so you want to brush some olive oil on here, although it's a non-stick grill, you all you always want to brush a little bit of olive oil on there or some kind of oil on there, and just go ahead and toss the steak on there. So you're gonna cook this for uh, 10 minutes on each side. I'll tell you uh, as we go through the process on what I'm doing. Okay. After five minutes, if you want those pretty little uh, marks, you just turn the steak like that. So we got another five minutes until we flip it over to the other side. Well, we want to go ahead and turn it back on high heat. That's the joy about these uh, grills. You can change the uh, heat on it and you don't have to take the meat off of the really high charcoal or anything like that. So now that we turned that back on high, we'll just go ahead and flip this here. As you can see, the lining on the, the grill mark 
Okay, it's not that good, but you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so it's been uh, 10 minutes right now and I just turned the grill off. So we're going to take it off the grill and you're going to let this sit for a good 10 minutes at least before you cut into it, okay? So now it's time to cook up the, the mushroom. So just put a, a little bit of uh, olive oil there. Wait for it to heat up. Right now we're on about level 7 on the heat. So once it heats up a little bit, then you want to go ahead and toss the uh, garlic in there. Just kind of move it around like that. Let it get to a just a little darker color. Then you want to put the mushroom in once it. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to brown. So once it gets to like right there, just toss the mushroom that you cut up and mix. And you just keep stirring until it gets cooked. Okay, as far as the mushroom, it wasn't that long to get it to this level. Once it starts to look kind of soft right here, you're pretty much done, so take it off the heat. So it's been 10 minutes, now it's time to cut the steak. Uh, these fatty pieces, not a fan of it, so... I know some of the guys, they love that stuff, so they'll eat it, but... For me, I'm not gonna eat it, so... Basically, just cut your steaks into uh, slices like that. It's a little more cooked to this side because uh, the bone piece side is going to be medium rare based on uh, what we just did there. Let me go ahead and cut that. that out of there. Actually it's a little more cooked than uh, than normal but it's still going to be very, very good. So that all depends on the heat of the grill, which determines the how it's going to come out. Yeah, this is actually really good right here. So for me, I'll just go ahead and plate it with some rice, like that. Toss a little bit of sauce over it like this. And remember the mushrooms, uh, it's right there. That's five pieces of mushroom. It's probably a good serving for two, but my significant other doesn't like mushrooms, so I'm gonna eat the whole thing. And we got some brown rice, or you can eat white rice. But for her, she's not gonna eat the rice or the mushroom. She's gonna go ahead and come over here, and she's gonna make some veggie wraps, wrapping these vegetables and then putting the meat there and then dip it in there, and that should be bomb.